Hello everyone and welcome to Super T Console Gaming. It's part three of Evil West. We love this game. Let's get stuck into it straight away. Um, I want to see if I can get out the door. No, I can't. That's a shame. Anyway, welcome. It's good having you along as always. I hope you're enjoying our playthrough of Evil West. As I said, this is part three. We're already um, pretty much four hours into the game. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this session to an hour-ish. But we'll see, because I had the same idea last night, and it went for two hours. Um, but like I said, welcome, thanks for joining us, and let's get stuck in and just see where we end up. So we'll follow the exclamation mark, get the story rolling, and then we'll go kill some stuff. That no, doesn't even want to talk to me. Into the lab we go. So for those of you that um, haven't watched parts one or two, uh, I recommend going back and having a look because this game is a dead set cracker. Um, it's an old school sort of linear third person shooter slash beat em up slash just good fun. Um, so check them out um, and let me know what you think. Get in the comments and tell me if this is your sort of thing, if you want more games like this to make a comeback. Um, I personally really enjoy the fact that we're getting to play games like this again um and i will make sure that every time something like this comes out that i play it because it's good fun i'm a bit weird though i did try and start playing uh god of war not ragnarok but just god of war and after about four hours i gave up because i didn't like it so um i understand that game is fantastic but it just didn't win me over. So I gave up and started playing this, and I think it's a dead set cracker. So I'll shut up and I'll watch a video. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Because I got some samples. Mine. <laughs> That's a Mikanak in Huron Indian folklore. It's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Debano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is they won't do it anymore. Sounds like a kerfuffle. We should go and attend to see what's going down. Assess William Rentier's condition. Oh, okay, we're going to go check out Dad. Uh, which way do I want to go? Let's go out. Down and around, perhaps. So, yeah, like I said, good, simple fun, this. Um, it does stray from, I guess, traditionally what I play on my channel. I'm more a Mario Kart, Warp Kart, races, Mario Brothers sort of guy. Uh, but this is <laughs> super fun. Um, and once we sort this out, we'll go, go kill some stuff and you'll see what I mean. This is also one reason why my videos end up being two hours instead of one. Because by the time I get through all the cutscenes, I feel like I don't get to play much. Anyway, in we go. Oh, here we go. Dad's playing up. Just like we thought he would. We, t we said we were going to have to sort him out. Oh, take that. A four inch needle to the shoulder. Who'd have thought an engineer would need help? <laughs> Step aside. Oh, what is wrong with this woman? Even She's an idiot. Kill us in our sleep. That link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. Do you listen to yourself. This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest... Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? 
and in the long run it could help everybody if the thing by i swear this bloke they've gone what will virgil look like and it's like i don't know what would johnny depp look like if he was in the last samurai <laughs> in the meantime your father will be restrained and placed under round the clock supervision fine fine strap him down ass out of those swamps and if i get back with that plant and i still see that shotgun in your hand you better damn well prove you know how to use it yeah right that sounded like we're gonna fight her as well. We're just gonna fight everyone. Where are we going? Pharmacon. He picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. Oh, Virgil with the pep talk. Everyone's a genius. Let's find Edgar. I'll do my usual check. Oh, there's no horse to say goodbye to. Normally I've got a horse sitting there. Oh, well, this looks like absolute hell, so let's get into it. Hey. Follow the footprints. Those are acres. Must have found that plant here. Follow Edgar's footsteps. Except when you can go and get some coin. Have I got to click on this like every... No, good. Happy with that. Have enough bucks to buy an upgrade. Uh, I've heard that one before. Let's have a look. How much we got? Eh, is it enough to do something that I'd find interesting? Um, that's our shotgun. What have I got in here that might help me? Fists of steel. Not enough for that one. That's a shame. Yep, not enough for that one either. So you're not giving me much choice here. What's this one? Improved broomstick reload mechanism. 20% faster cooldown. Oh, whatever. Let's do that. All right. Let's bail out. The trail leads this way. Christ. Wish I had a map of this place. We need a map for, mate. We'll be sweet. We'll get this well and truly sorted. Between my willingness just to walk off in different areas and... Try and find nothing. Do we need to shoot that one down? No. Oh, here we go. Into a circle of fun. Where are they? Come at me. I can hear them. I can't see them, but... Maybe they're up the back of the tree. Or are they in the tree? Oh, what is going on? There we are. G'day, fellas. Take some of this. <laughs> well, you walked into it, dude. Come on, get him airborne. I'm going to die here in a sec. I better... I better re recalibrate my efforts. Because whatever I'm trying right now is not working. They're a bit violent, these ones. Terrible shot. Alright, time for a bit of lightning. Sorted them all out. Jeez, I've hardly done anything to that bloke. Let's bail out of that. Oi. Your mate tried to take a hit. Got away with it. Oh, stop reloading and just punch on. Wee. I think when I first came across these blokes, I called them Teen Wolf. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Uh, 
That'll do. Well, look, I'll be honest. That was a rough introduction to part three. <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's all good. Okay, so let's follow the yellow brick road. And by that, I mean the shiny silver one. Cash. Cash. His best one is money. All right, let's grab you as well. That's useful. Footsteps. Let me just go and have a look-see around here and we'll come back to the footsteps. Because you never know your luck in a big city. See, there you go. We've got a win already. Got it. More cash. All right, where do we go? This way. No, I've come too far. Got myself lost. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Good on him. We'll find him. He's got the coolest haircut in the game. We can't lose the bloke. He must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm oh, sure well. Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. That's fine. Surely we'll give it back to him, though. Splat. I mean, they all make the same noise eventually. Hey. Oh, we got him out. Gee, I constantly pick the best times to reload, don't I? I just nail it. There we go. Do. Music's cool too. I like it. I haven't found much about this game I don't like, if I'm honest. I think the only thing so far that frustrates me a little bit is that you actually have to drop down into these sort of battle arenas to fight. You can't just sort of stand up on the ledge and pick people off with your shotgun or whatever it might be. Um, and I understand why they do that, but... Um, yeah, apart from that, it's good. It's good. Hey. Don't you go getting all noisy and loud. Hey, we'll shoot this. Because why not? No. Five hours in and I'm still learning the controls. I like to pay attention. <laughs> Come on. Give it up. I wanted a money, and he didn't give it. He kept it all straight laced. He didn't even get excited. There's something going on around here, eh? Oh, look at these buff heads. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oh, he hit him. And then they died. Well, they literally do. I closed out part two with a um, with a boss fight, and I really think that if I had to use the flamethrower a little more effectively than I did, it might have been over about 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> Obviously had that thought far too late, but um, it was good fun, hectic, trying to just get it done the way I was doing it. And I just feel like the way I was doing it was um, best described as wrong. But I'm sure if you watch that one, you'll let me know. 156 bucks. Setting the world on fire. All for the joy. Some more cash. Come on, give us some money. 
No, I got it. That's nice. All right. Well, okay. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks for nothing. Um, I, I guess trying to explain how excited I was for this game, probably the easiest way to explain that is between PlayStation Plus and Xbox Game Pass or Microsoft Game Pass or whatever it's called, you rarely have a reason to buy a game these days. And I bought this one physical copy. I was just excited to have it because it looked like so much fun. Um, thankfully, it turned out to be a lot of fun. It does have a few glitches. Um, the game did drop out during part two, and you will see that where I'd sort of made some progress. I'd beaten one of the battle areas, and then we had to go back and do it all again because the game shorted out. Um, and then there was also one just before that where the game decided that I'd sort of progressed the mission when I hadn't. So it cut to the cutscene that suggested I'd already won, and while I was forced to watch the cutscene, basically all the enemies just beat me up and killed me. So that was odd. Um, but outside of that, it's it's good fun. Which, of course, you know, because you're watching it. And hopefully, after watching it, you get it and play it, because it's a cracker. Yeah, all right. Let's launch him. Oh, love that when that one works. <laughs> Perfect time to reload again. He's taken that all to the face. I really feel like I want to get in there, but I just can't. It won't let me. There is no jump button in this game, so you are very much stuck on that path. So it's a linear game. Obviously, we've said that a million times, but um, it tells you where to go and really controls how you think you can and can't get there. More money. Can we duck down this way? Not really. Not really. All right, more footprints. Blood everywhere in one big it's getting messier. Web. Oh, looks like we might be burning the spider's web. This might be the part of the game where the arachnophobia setting comes in. Yeah, that seems about right. Can I kill the spiders with a bit of flame? No. No oven roasted spider. Can't even burn that web. All right. Well, I shall just pretend that they're not there. When's he going to give us some money? Come on, Jesse. Give the people what they want. He's letting us down. All right, let's peel back out. Follow this path off. That's a lot of spiders. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, you will. You'll take it. You'll take it and you'll love it. Twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. Their teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. Twisted and covered in thorns. I know people with personalities that could be described like that. <laughs> uh, all right. Feeling lost. Let's head in this direction and just see what happens. So we some footprints. The good news for our friend is that the blood's less. Maybe, maybe that means he's sort of doing better for himself. They are everywhere. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No. Come on, get some control. Guess this is that giant arachnid 
Hades lair. Oh goody. Glad I'm here. He's not wrapped up like a mummy in a web. Guess he got away. Alright, so I reckon this fight's gonna get out of control and he's gonna come and help me. Let's hit this thing with some flame and just see what happens. Jesus. Yeah, alright. Jeez, he's quick. Wee. Steady on. Hey, he's got a friend. That's not cool. Hey, stay out of it, bro. Oh, you should not want to be in there. Let's get him up in the air. Hey, get out of it. You're not going to, like, face where I need you to face. You're not much good to me. ruined it oh no <laughs> I did die good good spot there game No, 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 no. We've dealt with him after uh, what was to be um, considered a poor first attempt. <laughs> hey, stop trying to go toe to toe with him, you bullfed. Oh, just scattergun him. There we go. That's his head come off. Hang on, is there another one? Surely not. Everybody want to be like Mike. Jeez. Okay, so we came in. Our friends crawled off in that direction. There's a new upgrade available. Let's um, see if we've got anything to spend. We've got one perk that is acceptable. Uh, we'll jump across into those and have a look. Um, what have I got here? Short circuit. Killing an electrocuted enemy yields an energy pickup. No, I don't really interested in that. Uh, projectile block. Yeah, again, that doesn't feel like too much fun. No. Boom balls. Pickups can be shot by rifle or crossbow to cause an explosion. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Let's go back to our little friend here. 
What's he got on offer for us? So, blasting impression, kick punch. Yeah. Um, on the spot, hitting an enemy's weak spot. Bait and switch, dodging sideways or backwards to avoid enemy does not interrupt melee combat experience. Oh, let's try that, see if it makes us a little bit more fluid in combat because let's face it, I need help. And we'll run off in this direction and find our friend who I assume is hidden around here somewhere. I thought he might have made an appearance in that fight to help us, um, but he didn't. And I'd have a dig at him and call him lazy and all that stuff, but he's helped us out quite a few times in the past. Oh, great. This looks like... Let's stick to the facts. Oh, here we go. Search vampiric legends. A lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, like some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give it my best shot. Alrighty. Cash. Still want the, the money. The campy way he says money is fantastic. You have enough bucks to buy an upgrade. Come on, people. Get excited. Let's go see if it's a good one. What's he giving us? An XXL to BOW. The Expo Extended Magazine Clip holds two additional bolts. I haven't even used my crossbow yet. Like, I don't want to. Oh, down here. This looks fun. Flame Jet. Improved fuse. The scorcher can now spit flames 30% further. Well, I'm down on that. Let's do it. There we go. We've now got a flame jet, people. Sucks to be anyone else. Oh, I suppose I better do the thing. Keep that plant safe. But kept on going. That's true grit. Jeez, has he broken his ankle? <laughs> that is a that is a rough hobble. Would you call him the Hobble Telescope? <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oh, we're in the fight. Oh, these bloody things. Where is it? Get out of the way of that. Sure, bang a bang. Well, that's not cool. You might want to get out of there, bro. Got yourself in a right spot. Uh, no, no, no. Alright, starting to get that move a bit better. Okay, so we've got the crossbow on. There we go. All right, where's our friend? Let's let's sort this out before it gets messy. Ah. Oh, we got him. Finally, let's finish him off. I feel like I did some good things in that and then towards the end just got totally lost. Thankfully we came through. 
All right, so that's where we swung in from. Let's duck it out this way. Seems like the right thing to do. We've got to be catching up to our mate here soon, surely. An extra bit of lore to tell us a story. Oh, it's a knife called Susan. And that's all it is. Not much of a story on that. Uh, yep, shoot that one down. No, up here. Got it. You can, can you just feel me waiting for him to go, money, and then he never does. It's just the worst letdown. Take a jump, Jesse. Come on. Oh, look at you. What was that? Huh? Beware of toxic fumes. Navigate across flooding planks. All right, so that's obviously the way to go. So in the meantime, I want to duck back here and just grab some coins and things of that nature. There we go. Is it worth it? I'm not even going to crack the obvious joke there and walk away disappointed because there's no money. Did you break this damn bridge, Edgar? Ah, now I need to find another way. Golly gosh. Good thing we've already solved that problem. So let's go and fix that right now. running and we're in okay oh come on give us what we came for just feel like he's not going to play the game for us he hasn't given up a money once. Can I go back that way and explore? Nah, I've kind of done it now, right? One man enter, no man leave. Alright, well, let's go for a run. There's another door. Backs to the wall, ledges are ahead. We're going alright. Shimon. I'll need that. Yep. Yes, you will. Okay. Taking care of business. We're going good. I keep telling myself, oi, hang on. Woo up. Something's going on here. There it is. Some sort of trick afoot. As he ambles along, is there more gold anywhere? Come on. No, nothing. All right. Let's go and climb a wall or something. 
And the or something gets the win with the chain being lowered. Make it without a rope. But what's this? Indicates a good place to create a zip line. Oh, find a rope first. Well, I feel like I was fairly thorough. So, can I shoot that? No, I can't. Oh, I can't. All right, well. Let's go find a rope, I guess. Knowing this game, it's not going to be very far away. Oh, there it is. I gotcha. Just that basic premise of follow the exclamation mark. Should have been across it all along. Okay, we're going to have to go back around this way. Oh, come on, I was there. That's just a deliberate misfeed of information. Could have said to me then, hey, grab the rope. You'll need it in about 30 seconds. No, they didn't. That's better, he says. Nah, mate, you nailed it. What they should have done, though, was let it fall. Just for a bit of dramatic effect. Alright, we'll go up in here, grab some supplies. More money. More money. Gotta squeeze through. Should I have gone over there, you think, for a look? Oh, now the trick is, can I go back through? No. Devastated. All right, well. If we have to move on. Can I get in through there? Yes, I can. All to no avail. Thought there might have been something there for me. More footprints. They lead to that church over there. Oh, we didn't even get to see what state he was in this time. Oh, it's another one of these bullfeds. So we've sorted him. Now we've just got this other mess left. Uh oh. A couple of screaming bombs. <laughs> Get out of it. Ah.
All right. Okay, now we've just got to deal with these things. Oh, come off it. Wow, that's got a long range on it. I would have thought being sort of a scattergun type thing that would not fire that far, but I'll take that for the win, that's for sure. Can I walk across that? No. Not gonna let me. Ooh. Can't get across there. I know obviously that's where I'm supposed to go this way, but again, checking for bucks and lore and all of that good stuff. Finders keepers. Got a bit of swagger about in this bloke. Now, yeah, is that where we just sort of came from? Pretty sure it was. So, where do we go from here? Feel like I'm a little bit lost. Always fun to be lost in a linear game. Can I get back across there? Yes, yes, I can. Oh, uh, that's the way we came in. All right, so... In that case, we peel off over here to the left. I'm pretty sure there was a way out. There we go. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. You did good. Don't stress. Oh, no, that's not even... That's not going to help me because that stops there. Okay. Well, my moment of... of excitement and promise vanished quickly. We got 121 bucks. Um, feel like I'm going to be able to get across there somehow. That would just feel like the right thing to do. Like, no, you come in from that other side. That's where we were. All right. Well, we've achieved finding something extra, but let's see what we can do to get across here. Bang, bang. Okay, so mate, this way. No, that... That isn't going to work either. The confusion. As we run around the tree. Performing something of a U-turn. Um, let's go check this out. There's got to be something here that I'm missing. Didn't I try that before? As always, the answer is simple and right in front of me. You are taking it. You've said that a few times, mate. I think you've uh, got something on the mind. Let's get stuck in here. And hopefully we find our mate okay and not turned into 
some horrible creature that we've got to flog. Oh yeah. Doesn't look inviting, but let's say I trust you, Edgar. Ninety-five dollars. Down we go. Using our jet flame to great effect on that. Thirty six, it almost wasn't worth the fuel. <laughs> uh. Oh, now if I squeeze through there, I probably can't come back out. So let's just go... Oh, no. Nothing there to even look at. All right, well, I guess we're squeezing through the hole in the wall. Jeez, he's got some gear on him now. Imagine trying to be this agile with, like, four ton of armor hanging off your back. Edgar, I'm starting to doubt your navigational abilities. What do you mean? No. Burn, baby, burn. 54, jeez. The money in these tunnels are just garbage. I want thousands of dollars, just straight up. Ancient gates. I have a bad feeling about this. Why? What could possibly go wrong? I think you're overthinking it, Jesse. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah. So we came in. Oh, well. Looks like from here, we're just going to get straight in and see what goes on. I have a, have a feeling our friend's already been turned. Uh oh. It's the water tower from Zelda. Ah, uh, right, so we're gonna. Water's down even further, big fella. Your luck's in. Edgar? Jesse? Open the gate. I'm stuck in here. Yeah, all right. We only just got here, bro. So how do I get down? Doesn't want to let me down. Don't let me down. Huh? Come on. Oh, the stairs. You've <laughs> you spanner. All right. So let's think about this. I need the big one up there at the door. Is there anything? Okay. So if I can get a little one there first, that way we should be able to get up and get that beautiful looking gold chest. So let's deal with that first off. I assume that once they're in position, I can climb up them. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm assuming incorrectly. So, hang on. Stop. Let go. How do I let go? <laughs> there we go. That's how we let go. Okay, so... We're going to push that to there. No, we're not. Go 
Okay, does that feel about right? No. No, it doesn't. We need to go a little bit further. Alright. Now. That one is facing the wrong way, so I think it's this one. Which means I'll push this out of the way. Can you just hear my brain just going into meltdown trying to figure such a simple puzzle out? <laughs> uh, don't pretend to be anything I'm not. Let's face it, we're here just for fun. Should work now. Should work now. Cool. So what I want to know is how do I get to that thing? Oh, by putting that one there. Duh, he says. Mm, let's try it. Oh, do you think you'll jump? I guess we'll find out when we get up there, or else I'm going to turn them around somehow. Uh, nah. Nah, alright, so. This one has to go there, and that one has to go here. Cool. I just want that chest, knowing full well we're going to go to all this effort, and it'll be nothing. Okay. It is heavy. It's almost like it's a solid structure made out of brick and you're somehow still able to push it. Hell yeah, it's going to work now. And you know what? It's going to work even better when we put this bad boy on. Very good. All right, so let's go see what's in the chest. And I hope that it is at least worth the effort we just went to. Here we go. What do we get? Oh, <laughs> oh we got... We got a perk, but still, 133 bucks. Give me a break. New perk. That's no good to me because I don't have any perk points. Hopefully after we rescue our buddy here. We're about to fight something, dude. Uh... Okay, I was going to say, I'll bite, I'll run in. Well, I feel like this is going to keep me busy. If you guys are going to blow up, just do it yourself. are all getting a bit out of control.
I'm in real strife here. Talk about taking it slow. How is he not dead yet? All right, what's my mate doing? Alright, we're just about done. There we go. Again, a little bit unorthodox and I could probably be a lot more efficient with it. But we got the win and that's the important thing. We've rescued our mate and all in all, I think we're going to come to the end close to an hour and I'm going to meet my promise. Calico, squeeze it out, and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around. I'm sorry I got you into this. <sighs> Getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit. Edgar, you can't keep doing this forever. When those ticks attacked the manor, what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway, now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, and then you get all emotional on me. 
Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. Ha ha ha. Bit of slapstick. Back to Calico Town. So, with that... Oh, hang on. We'll watch the cinematic. We'll see how our grumpy little friend here greets us. God damn it. Harold's here. Oh, not this buffhead again. Backstabbing witch. You ratted us out. Dr. Blackwell. I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, I had nothing to do with Mr. Harris' sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab. So I think she's kind of on our side. Think. Anyway, with that, we'll end on a cliffhanger. Find out if she's on our side the next time. That is the end of the video. Thank you very much for hanging out with us for part three, guys. We've had an absolute blast. I've managed to keep it to almost an hour, which excites me greatly. Thank you for hanging out. Chuck us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let me know if you've got any tips or if you love the game or like the game or hate the game. I love it. I think it's a dead set cracker. So it'll be good to hear from you. Chuck us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Do all those wonderful things. But most importantly, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Hooroo. Goodbye. Have fun.